Today's video, I wanted to share my love for rose perfumes and I thought I have to share my favorite perfumer, which is Maison Francis Ketijan. So I wanted to compare the two fragrances together. We have A La Rose and then we also have Long A La Rose as well. So I'll be sharing and comparing these two perfumes and at the end, I will be finding perfumes that will match my A La Rose from my fragrances that I have. So I've got some alternatives to share with you guys as well. So I have samples of both. Here I have L'Homme à la Rose and here I have à la Rose. And this one is your Eau de Parfum, the big Eau de Parfums. Now, I wanted to talk about this one first, which is L'Homme because this is your masculine rose, guys. Yes, we need a rose fragrance for a man and I've been wearing this a while now, testing it out. And I have it sprayed on the back of my hand here. And this is a beautiful, fresh citrus fragrance for a man. I think it makes a really nice daytime scent. Okay, so let's talk about the notes, which I have right here in front of me. Now we have two types of rose in this fragrance. We have Centifolia Rose Absolute, and we also have Damask Rose Oil as well. So this fragrance opens up quite citrusy. We have notes of Grapefruit Accord, and then we have the rose oil. In the heart of this perfume, we have amber woody accords, we have sage oil, and in the base we have Centifolia Rose Absolute and Labdanum oil as well. So what I find with this perfume, I find it to be very sparkling and fresh in the opening. And I think that's due to the grapefruit. It adds this very clean, clear, crisp, fresh note. Yeah, very fresh. And then, we have some rose oil in there as well. And then you do have the ambery cords in the heart and then on the dry down of this fragrance. I find now, because I sprayed this on, I would say about half an hour ago now. And um, I don't get a true rose scent. So this is not your typical rose, but I think it adds sort of the green elements of the rose and the rose oils. It doesn't have that rose sweetness. So it doesn't make this fragrance feminine whatsoever. It's very clean, soft on the dry down. It's like a soft woody scent, but a little bit sparkling, but it's the opening that presents this clean, crisp, fresh um, presentation to the fragrance. This is a fragrance a man can enjoy wearing as a signature scent, as a daytime scent. I think this perfume is appropriate for spring, autumn, and the summer. It's fresh. It's not so much your typical wintry scent, but you can wear this all year round, I would say. But there's something about it. I think it's the grapefruit, the rose, the woody notes. Reminds me of the spring, summer and the autumn. So yes, this one is quite pleasant to wear. I think it's a really nice rose interpretation for a man. Do not judge this fragrance by its cover. This fragrance is highly masculine. I think, yeah, this is a very nice scent you can wear all day. This should radiate maybe about arm's length and it's a gorgeous, fresh scent. I think it's really nice as a signature scent. The so. next scent I have is my Ala Rose and this is the Eau de Parfum. And this is a fragrance that I get true rose. It's really nice. And I think it's a rose that I would say is fairly modern. I think it's a good vintage to modern style. We do have cedar and musk in the base you don't have that patchouli or you don't have that oak moss which would make it a little bit more chypre style or vintage style but it's like a soft petal or very delicate garden rose i'm imagining a pink rose a white rose actually more of a pink very light pink rose i do pick up a little bit of the violet it adds a little bit of a powdery touch it does have this sparkling effect and I have to say, very briefly, it reminds me of my Pink Magnolia by Loewe, and that's only the magnolia touch to it. I can smell that magnolia. I do feel like I'm picking up a little bit of lychee, something fruity, but it's that violet magnolia. It's really pretty, really soft, a very delicate rose. I think this is a rose that can be worn by all ages. So. I also think this is a rose, if you are not a rose lover, you should try this one because it's not your typical traditional rose, it's not vintage, it doesn't smell that mature or some people find rose fragrances to be a little bit outdated, not very modern and contemporary. I would try this. It's very delicate, it's a true rose. 
a little bit um it's not fruity but you do have the fruity notes of the bergamot it adds a little bit of a sparkling touch i think that's why it reminds me a little bit of my pink magnolia only very slightly but it's a pretty rose it's a soft rose it's not too strong definitely i think anyone from the age of 18 can wear this it's a very wearable rose guys it's a rose that to me this is this is a rose that's going to stay quite close to your skin um, and I think it's just going to give you a really nice like personal fragrance or something you can enjoy unless someone comes up really close to you but it's really pretty and then if I compare it to my um, Allah Malachos this is just masculine it's a little bit sparkly and fruity and woody and crisp and clean it's really nice <laughs> really really nice this one is quite soft and delicate, very delicate rose. It's a pure rose. It smells like an expensive rose oil, rose water. And I think this is quite nice and pleasant to wear in the daytime. So if you are looking for a rose perfume for Valentine's Day, either for yourself or your love, check these fragrances out. I think they are beautiful interpretations of a modern day rose, especially long. It's very masculine sparkling i really do like this one i have three perfumes from my collection that i wanted to compare to alahaz the first fragrance i'm going to compare it to is my auras and i have a sample here by diptyque now this perfume i did spray a little bit here which i can still smell this is really nice now i did spray this about an hour ago and the fragrance is still here it's really pretty very light and when I compare it to my a la rose I have to say it's fairly similar in the way how it presents itself it's light it's a true rose but modern it's clean it's not a heavy rose it's not a sweet rose it's just like a natural sweetness but it doesn't have the addition of sugar or honey it's just that natural sweetness you get from a typical pink rose it's delicate very pretty so that's all rose and then when i compare it to this one i think it's very similar it's light it's delicate it's going to radiate quite close to the skin so that's my all rose by diptyque now the next rose i'd like to compare it to is this one here because you know i'm a fan of this house it's my la col noir and again um this is your rose balm and this fragrance oh my gosh Guys, I just love this perfume. This is like, you know when you're looking for a happy scent or you just want to feel like in a good mood or to put you in a good mood? It's this one. It's feminine. It's light. This is my most worn daytime scent that when I'm running errands, if I'm doing something in the day, if I'm going out for tea, if I'm doing very light activities that day, then I prefer to wear this one because it's sweet, it's light, it's ultra feminine true rose but it's a fruity rose this is my le col noir here and this is really fruity pretty many layers of rose and fruits blended together and when you compare it to a la rose a la rose is just your rose it's a watery rose it's a delicate rose clean soft a little bit powdery um whereas my le col noir is sweet it's sugary got fruitier chords le col noir is your more fruitier interpretation because you have the raspberry lemon black currant there's peach in here and um our a la rose has magnolia has some musk in here which you also do have in the le col noir so that makes it a little bit um, similar because the dry down is a little bit smooth but then you do have the addition of oud and sandalwood in the col noir so they're quite different a la rose is just more of your delicate rose petals i find yeah delicate and i do get that magnolia in there as well this is fruitier. Le Col Noir is much more fruitier. And lastly, I have one more fragrance to compare. And this is a fragrance. I find it to be more of a unique rose. And this is my Elizabethan Rose by Penhaligans. Now, this is a rose that I do like. It's quite unique in a sense. It's a little bit different. And it's not a fruity rose. It's not a sweet rose. It's just more of a unique rose. 
Now this one has hazelnut and cinnamon and almonds in the opening. So you get this sort of creamy, spicy, like feel to the fragrance. Then we do have some tangerine in the opening as well. But it's the actual heart notes. You have three types of roses. You have May Rose, Rose Oil, and True Rose, with the addition of plum, blackcurrant, and geranium. I love a geranium and rose composition. We have plum in addition to that. Base notes now, you have violet, you have musk, violet, and woody notes, and some vetiver. So this is very different, guys, very unique. It's woody, you've got some almonds in here, you've got cinnamon, very different hazelnuts in here. Then you've got that heart of three types of roses, so lots of rose in abundance with geranium, and I love that combination. Then you do have red lily, plum, and black currant. Black currant in the fragrance adds this sort of playful element to perfume. This to me is so unique. Is it a true rose? I would say yes, but it's not vintage. I think it's a wearable rose. It's really pretty. Now, comparing this to my um, Ala Rose, I think this one is just very different. Very, very different. It's got um, many different layers. I think the Ala Rose by MFK, that is your pure rose. It's soft with the musk, and then you have addition of magnolia. But my Elizabethan rose, however, it's complex. It's one of those scents that it's a mixture of You've got nuts, you've got fruits, you've got woods in there. And um, this one is Elizabethan roses. If you want something that's really different than your standard rose, Ala Rose is standard rose. It's a beautiful, delicate rose. I have my Or Rose by Diptyque here. And this to me is the closest to Maison Francis Cote de Jeanne's Ala Rose. And the reason being is because it's the way in which it presents itself as a rose fragrance. It's more of a pure, delicate rose, very soft, gentle, this one here. So let me read, let me remind you of the notes because I don't think I read them out earlier. So the notes we have in our rose, we have lychee, blackcurrant. And remember guys, I said when you mix lychee, rose, blackcurrant, geranium, you just get this special blend, it's so beautiful. Then we have the bergamot, jasmine, musk, honey, and cedar. So this one to me, I just think it's the closest to our beautiful Alaphos. So darlings, if you are looking for a rose fragrance, I would check out the MFK versions, try out both. Give it a go, my darlings, have fun with these fragrances. If you're not a rose lover, I hope I am slowly converting you to love rose. I did not start out as a rose lover. I think I always liked rose in a perfume, but I couldn't detect it or I didn't know it was based upon a rose. Um, and I think when I started wearing rose fragrances, or I think back then, I think rose fragrances were very much vintage style. Um, but now you can find so many different combinations. So I do encourage you, if you are someone that really doesn't like rose, would you do this for me? Try something different and just see how you feel. Try a rose and oud blend, try rose and magnolia, rose and lychee, give it a go, see what you think, because you might find that you're going to appreciate a new style of fragrance. It's always worth trying something different, even if it's something you're not so keen on, you might be highly surprised. In the perfumery nowadays, they are blending some unique, intricate notes together. You will find something that you will love. So give it a go, don't be shy. Have fun with your fragrances, like really try them out, have fun. And I hope these fragrances bring you joy. So my darlings, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content today, let me know by liking this video. And if you are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join my channel here. Click subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.